Okay, so let's kind of look at what's happening at the Earth's surface um, and maybe what needs to happen aloft. So first looking at anticyclones. Anticyclones, we said, are associated with a surface high pressure and anticyclonic movement in the northern hemisphere is clockwise. So we'll draw kind of a clockwise motion there. We also have been talking about the fact that air will uh, go from basically relocate from a high pressure to a low pressure. So basically we have diverging air here at the central low diverging as in scattering air and so actually over time our central high pressure will become lower and we could kind of look at um, uh, central low pressure of course we call that a cyclone and cyclonic movement in the northern hemisphere is counterclockwise and what we've talked about uh, with regard to a difference in pressure is that air will go from the high to a low. And so if we have a central low, then we have what converging air there at the Earth's surface, converging air. So over time, you would think that, that, that the pressure would increase in our central low pressure. So the fact that our highs can remain high even though our central highs can remain high even though air is diverging and our central lows can remain low even though air is converging something else must be going on and that something else actually is has to do with what's going on what we call a loft i word i love the word a loft at uh, upper elevations within the troposphere so our central high pressure, we're going to see, and I like the next slide because it explains this, I think. But our central high pressure is sustained by converging air at upper elevations in the troposphere. Our central high pressure at the Earth's surface. And what happens is that converging air, it uh, moves downwards. It descends, okay? It descends where there's a high pressure, and it keeps that anticyclone alive. And one of the things about, do you remember we said that if you take a chunk of air, and you and for whatever reason, if that chunk of air descends, we said that it will get smaller, it will its volume will decrease, and it will warm. And so actually, um, anticyclones are noted for their nice warm weather. And as it warms, it's, uh, the saturation amount increases. That is to say that you need more water vapor in order to saturate it. So anticyclones are generally clear skies. Descending air is, is, is warms and will be clear. Well, if we change our attention now to those cyclones. So the cyclones at the surface are lows. And we said we need some way to, um, if air is converging there, we need some way to keep that low. Well, that low is kept as long as at upper elevations the air is diverging. Okay, And so what that means is basically we have a column of air over that central low pressure at the Earth's surface that is rising. And one of the things we know about rising air is that as a chunk of air rises, it expands, and as it expands, it cools, and it can cool to the point of the lifting condensation level. Okay, so actually, around central lows, sometimes we can go ahead and have cloudy skies because of ascending or rising parcels of air are cooling. So I like this. I think this. I like this slide. So if we start with an anticyclone first. You can see that clockwise movement around the anticyclone. The air would be diverging there, okay, at the surface. But notice what, notice the subsiding air. So this would be the air aloft, and this is at the Earth's surface. And so notice it's the subsiding air that goes ahead and maintains our central high pressure. Isn't that neat? I love it. And so what's happening at the upper part of the troposphere actually is air is converging 
in that spot where it can then be squeezed down and subside or lower and sustain that high. Isn't that neat? Well, let's turn our attention to um, uh, cyclone. So that's a central low pressure, and you can see the wind is moving counterclockwise, the purple arrows. You can see the converging air there at the Earth's surface. Now again, this would basically convert our central low to a high pressure over time. But what sustains that low is the fact that the air that would be potentially piling up here actually is rising. And remember, rising air will expand and cool, and so we might have clouds associated with our central low pressure. So now, as it gets up to upper elevations, what is kind of driving this or kind of pulling this actually is diverging air at upper elevations. So it kind of sucks it up. I think that is so cool. Okay, so we say that we would need a convergence aloft to support that subsiding air, to support that high pressure. Okay, so we need a convergence aloft to make a high pressure below. We need divergence aloft to create, um, sustain a low pressure below. That's so cool. So uh, a few other ways to go ahead, and they all have to do with friction, um, in a sense, to go ahead and create these sort of flow, um, a vertical flow of air. Uh, first off, these actually, both of these have to do with um, changing um, uh, coefficient of frictions. Basically, remember that friction over C is not much versus uh, friction over the, the land. Okay, so basically, as you have air going from the sea to the land, it's going to be more friction here over the land. So what can happen is basically we can create a high pressure here, and that's going to make um, air want to go up vertically. So air will ascend there. Okay, um, look at it a little bit differently. If we go from the land to the sea, um, here, actually, this can create converging air, okay? We can, can kind of create a low pressure here. Uh, and then air will be, sorry, I kind of drew that wrong, didn't I? Okay. Air basically, as it leaves the land and it goes over the ocean or the sea where the friction is less, the air can... Um, diverge and it will create a low and then the air there from the loft will descend. Um, these next two have to do with mountains and so basically the presence of a mountain, we've talked about ore graphic lifting and upslope lifting, that sort of thing, and so actually uh, the presence of a mountain can create um, ascending air on the windward side and descending air on the leeward side.